This is the first lecture of Advanced Chemical Reaction Engineering CHE 510 of the Middle East Technical University Chemical Engineering Department. So the name of the course is Chemical Reaction Engineering. I will divide the topic into two and address those two terms, chemical reaction terms together and engineering terms separately, and then I will link them together. Chemical reactions require bond making, bond breaking events. Traditional understanding of chemical conversions imply doing the reaction in a test tube or in an Erlenmeyer flask. When we take these chemical reactions and translate it into the engineering domain, we carry out the events on a large scale such as millions of tons depending upon the commodity millions of tons per day or millions of tons per year and we carry out these events in continuous units By continuous units, I mean that the unit as a black box is continuously fed by the reactant and the products are continuously removed from the system. Now those continuous units are in an undergraduate chemical reaction engineering course uh, classified as plug flow reactors where we have a tubular domain where feed enters and the product leaves and we have no radial mixing in the reactor. The fluid package moves in the reactor as if it were a plug. So this is the plug flow reactor, PFR. Or this reaction can be carried out in a continuously stirred tank reactor, CSTR, where we have an impeller to mix the contents of the reactor. Feed comes in, products leave, and the contents are well stirred, continuously stirred tank reactor. So the difference between the laboratory scale and industrial scale The, the difference between those two are important to address. In the laboratory scale reactors, the scale is really small. For example, the diameter of this test tube is about one centimeter. So, 
the contents, if they are in a heat bath, can be considered as isothermal, in other words, there are no temperature gradients. And if you are carrying out this reaction in an Erlenmeyer flask, maybe you have a magnetic stirrer mixing up the contents so that you have mixing in all directions. And because of this mixing, we have, in addition to no temperature gradients, we have no concentration gradients. Given this, that these systems uh, allow us to determine the um, constitutive relationship between the concentration and temperature and the reaction rate. In the absence of temperature gradients and concentration gradients, we are able to obtain the constitutive relationship of the reaction rate minus R sub A for a hypothetical A goes to products reaction. As K times C A where Ca is the concentration of species A. And K relates in Arrhenius form the rate constant to reaction temperature through the activation barrier, the universal gas constant, and the temperature in the Kelvin scale. So this constitutive relationship is an empirical relationship. N is the order of the reaction, K is the rate constant, and minus Ra is a constitutive relationship. And we assume that there are no temperature and no concentration gradients under the conditions. But on the other hand, when we arrive at the industrial scale of operations, in order to produce millions tons per year or per day, depending upon the nature of the commodity, we have to operate large-scale units. In those large-scale units, we can have concentration gradients in the industrial scale concentration gradients temperature gradients And also, flow in homogeneities are possibilities. All right, they, they, you can, you have to deal with those issues. Now, on this side, where we are carrying out the chemical reactions, we eliminate the gradients, or we assume that those gradients do not exist. In the industrial scale, we have to deal with those gradients. And in this course, our uh, learning progress will uh, evolve where we are going to remove assumptions one by one from the conservation equations 
and solve processes and design equations in order to number one, size the reactors, number two, operate those reactors under such conditions that we have highest selectivity and perhaps highest activity. Okay, so let me take a break. Huh?